Oh, Penny, thank God you're here. Um, I've got my level three calc exam tomorrow and I have no idea what's going on. Is there any way you can give me some tips to help me get through this? Yep, yep, I got heaps of tips. So, a key thing, when you start a problem, what do you think is the first thing you should do? Um, trace my hand. Drawing a diagram, yep, Draw a diagram. definitely Draw. helps, definitely. Right. Yep, so write down everything that you know and also kind of take note of what you need to know so that it will help you kind of figure out how to start some of these harder questions. So the drawing a diagram kind of puts it in perspective for me visually and then I can sort of get a grip of what's going on. Yep. Awesome. awesome. Okay, yeah. cool. And um, so when you actually start the question, make sure that you actually show all your working, like you really label everything out what you're doing. Go through, so, and if I label everything out and show all my working, then I might get some marks that yep. I might not have yep. if I didn't write anything. Yep, cool. And it awesome. also helps you preventing mistakes for yourself as well. So make sure that you carry out all the negatives and all that stuff and making it sure you get the right answer. Sweet. And speaking of mistakes, I was on this question for ages and I was checking the answers and I just kept getting it wrong. I swear I did everything right. I couldn't figure it out. It was a trigonometry question. Trigonometry? Yeah, a key thing with trigonometry is not having your calculator in the right setting. So were you in degrees or radians? I was... Uh, radians. Radians, cool. So it's a really key thing to note what your answer should be in and what your question's giving you and so your calculator's in the right setting so you get the right answer. Great, okay, okay. So um, work out, draw diagrams. What about like, no, is there anything I should learn before I go into this exam? Yeah, yeah. You need to make sure that you really have the basics down such as differentiation, integration, all the complex number stuff. You need to make sure that you get those basics down so you can not get the easy marks but also know how to start some of the harder ones. Sweet, sweet. And on those harder ones, I was on this one for ages and then by the end of it, the exam was over and I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, so it's really important to not spend too much time on some of those harder questions so that if you really are struggling with a particular question, move on, finish the rest of the exam and at the end, if you have time, come back to it so that you really do have a fresh mind when you're ta tackling it again. And that fresh mind will help me? Yep, so when you're not, when you move on, your subconscious will still be chewing at the question and so when you come back, you'll have kind of a new insight on the question. What, so I can figure this out without even doing it? Yep, pretty much. Wow, okay, um, I think that's, I think I'm pretty well set now. Okay. Thank you. All good. Good luck. Cheers. <laughs> so, draw a diagram. And then label the complex numbers.